Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. Uh, the Star Wars mod. Let's continue on from the last time off. So, um... We cannot do this because they need to be a puppet saint, huh? Oh, do we have to be at peace? Has full control of most... Oh, do we not have control of the regions? I'm not too sure, but either way, turns to the skies, 21 days. Well, we're about to win this anyways. Um, go over to Jeddah. I'm sure Saudi Arabia, yeah, they're already like halfway capitulated. Now you would not join my faction? We're at war? I know we're also in low supplies, but that's okay. I mean, I feel like no matter what we do, we'd be in low supplies, considering the fact that we're just, like, not on Earth. Okay, we're gonna go up to uh, Medina. And that should definitely be the last planet here. After that, I'm not too sure what else actually is gonna happen. gonna need this guy anyway because that's basically our motorized um you're way ahead of time decryption stuff's ahead of time resource extraction 10 percent you know let's go for superior firepower Attack! Okay, medina is going to fall in right now so with them dead no they're, they're still not dead Twenty-two you know percent. I've noticed that they don't have any more victory points, though. Also, that like every song still, we might as well pop it because apparently that's what we're supposed to be doing, anyways. Um, Arabia of the Galactic Empire. Yeah, so I guess I have to, um, release Iraq the puppet state. Which sucks, because now I believe I don't have any more, yeah, I have no factories anymore. So that's not super useful. After this, I'm probably going to invade Iraq, uh, Iran next. I feel like that's just the next logical target. The Great Depression. Wait, why am I getting the Great Depression? Oh no, a Great Depression. It's a very different Great Depression. The Great Depression has spread amongst our rank reasonably so. Men sit in the base camps, not performing their duties, laying in barracks, remembering times long gone. Officers give no orders, drinking themselves to death. Even our general staff walks in a haze. Well, the junior officers are getting a little bit more powerful. I allowed you. Okay, I was truthful with you, and this is how you repay me. I cannot believe this kind of insubordination. Darth Vader would absolutely cut off your head at this point. That's all I've got to say. That if I was Darth Vader, I would murder you right now. Please. Oh, this is something like this. How many troops does Iran have? Three to five? We need more political power to justify wars. But again, we're still losing points, so we're just stuck at zero forever. Does the Great Depression have a, a timer? No, it does not. So, probably some modifier is going to change that. But we're going to basically make a rock into a base. It's going to give us a military factory and a civilian factory anyway, which is nice. And Darth Vader becomes leader of the fascist party. Not these two guys. We're gonna we're gonna definitely shoot them in just a moment using the. Well, I guess we can force choke them. You know, being a little bit more thematic here. Unfortunately, I'm not allowed to make a faction, even though I really wish I could. It'd be quite interesting. I'm sure everybody would want to uh, intervene. So it's 
two off so two civilian two military factories essentially. Um I'm gonna put you in charge here. Does that mean okay, still at least a commander of me? Military region Aruk. Even they're getting more he's getting more military factories than I do right now. Darth Vader, my good friend. Iraq is no more! The nation of Iraq has ceased to exist as the foreign nation has begun uh, to restructure its government through aggressive means. The aggressors claim to be part of an extraterrestrial government entity. That skepticism is evident among the populace. After all, those that claim to be extraterrestrial look like humans. For all we know, they're a cult that has gained power in the Middle East. They don't look like aliens to me. That's understandable. The Imperial hierarchy is cumbly with orders not being followed. The lower officers and other admirals are uh, deciding to follow through on their own ideas rather than that of the senior officers. Something must be done swiftly or else the ter what territory we have may be split apart. Well, that's not great. We can't allow... Who's who's even this? Who is... Who's be uh, best blah, fierce? I have no idea. Hawk Muslin. That's what I'm putting in charge of base Besh. If you're over here, you cannot take control of the... You cannot, you're not allowed to take control. That's my justification here. Um... Get interceptors. They fly 6,000... I mean, bombers go... You know what? Let's get bombers. 7,000 kilometers? I think... What's the circumference of the Earth? Isn't the circumference of the Earth only like 14,000 kilometers? Um... Circumference of the Earth... Okay, it's 40,000. But still, that's about almost 20% of Earth covered by, a, by the bombers, which I think is pretty good. Uh, especially like level 1s. What's, what are like the final levels here? What, what do you have? 10,000. 8,065. 10k for you. I mean, all seems pretty good to me. We just need more. You know, it's got military region. Besh. Okay. Um, reinforce our bases. Nah, we'll just do, go straight into phase two, I think. We do have military factories now. Four out of five. I think we maybe just start producing tanks. We do not have the tanks yet. Okay, well... Let's start going for aircraft then. I know we don't... We planes and reserves, huh? Is it just the, the planes I've captured from Iraq and Saudi Arabia? Yeah, but I guess it's better than nothing. How much oil do we make right now? Uh, we are making 1.6 thousand because we have a lot of oil under our control, which is nice. Saudi Arabia is no more. Who are you? The Empire, like, are you considered a different? Yeah, so these are different tags. Okay. The Empire expands. The Middle East now has an emerging power on its hand. Both Iraq and Saudi Arabia has fallen to a new expansionist government seeking to establish order. The only nation that can stop them in expansion would be the Turkish government, but even then, it'd be doubtful any nation could intervene without risking another world war. Not for the political power. I would love that. Thank you very much. Oh, then we just start trying to... No, wait, no. This is just for our puppet states. I don't care about our puppet states uh, too much. But... Organization going up by 8%. Not bad. Armor attack and defense going up would be nice. I, I think there's infantry being better. Construction speed. And you're 150. Um, no, but we, we can't. We haven't unlocked these guys yet. So let's just go for infantry experts for now. And we do have an extra military uh, factory. So let's go for... 
Probably just rifle. Still probably just rifles more than anything else at the moment. Might as well also get our speeders to be. Uh... Wait, are speeders considered infantry? Yeah, they're cavalry divisions, right? Um. Train these guys up as well. I know we are not going to be deploying them quite yet. Um. But we're going to need mil. How many factories do you have, Iran? Two, five. Okay. Not bad. I'm just not too sure if, um. Do we get the ability to attack more people? Oh, that's... Um, okay, so... Four civilian, six military is pretty good. But so a logistical review. Like, this has a lot of bonuses to it as well. The target is map master propaganda. Able to manipulate the fear and hatred harbored within a person and turn it against whatever may be useful. Target's plan involves uh, stoking elitism amongst uh, the men. Waging a war against a planet to begin another empire to last a thousand years. Conquering an unconquered galaxy in a desperate need of a strong central hand. This will obviously anger the natives without, uh, within our army. We don't, need, we don't need them in our army. Get them out of here. Let's go for the logistical review so we can get... Um, one, just eight civilian factories seems pretty good. So what are you building right now? We're trying to build up more of you. Do something like this for now. So it's January of 1937. So like what like what can you even do at this point then? Okay, it just delays you a little bit. But you still can't march into the Rhineland. I believe that gives France a major boost uh when the war axe begins. At least I would imagine so. Yes, we've also got the basic tanks. I think for now we're good on you. Is this not considered ahead of time? Anti-air and anti-tank. You know, let's go for our basic artillery upgrades. We don't need to worry about it. Like, we could just ban democracy. But, I mean, are we taking up? No, we're not taking... I mean, democracy is going down. So, I mean, that seems pretty good. Um, modifier government. I mean, we can begin. Just justifying a war against uh, Iran. We don't. Okay, never mind. We don't have the political power to do so. That's understandable. You are all the way too far ahead of time. I mean, I'm not even gonna worry about. Um, Boats, really. I mean, I'll still get. I can still get transfers, but like, not having any boats to begin with. Like, let me just, let me just, like, double check. Like, I don't have the ability to build any ships. I'm not too sure how I'll ever kill, like, the United States or anything like that. I guess just, like, through, um, transports. It's very expensive, but I think we need to research it anyways. At some point, I'm sure we're going to have to attack um, the UK and stuff like that. And I imagine probably all of our supply lines, because it's still hard to find four, I'm sure our supply lines still rely on... 
Complete decision, focus on industry. Is that somewhere down here? I mean, I'm definitely going to focus on industry. I don't really care about, like, the synthetic stuff so much. Okay, focus on materials, focus on industry. I see. Eighteen oil, I don't think is very uh, useful. Colonel Wool uh, Wolf Wolfurin is a respected man among the Imperial Armed Forces. The average trooper looks up to him. The guy in hand, the demon and temper leader. He's quickly risen as a figurehead for the growing movement. Our troops banding together for more representation or hierarchy. No. No democracy here. Okay? We're definitely going to do, um... Focus on industry. Are we getting political power? The answer is no, we're not. We're still with, like, the depression and stuff, right? Reconstruction spite, I mean, it's, it's less bad than it used to be, but... It's still not wonderful. Traction speed goes up slightly with you. Please start building up you. We have low manpower. Um, we can probably fix that soon enough. God, a wrong would just be. I mean, who would be the best? Like Turkey is probably actually the best. Um, twenty-five or thirty-four, huh? Building up our armed forces is going to be tricky. Rural or urban? Probably urban, right? Oh, okay, we have to do both, actually, anyways. Um, so I'm going for reconstructing the ship. For, the t for six factories for free. After that, we get 10% organization. The recovery rate goes up a decent amount. More faster than... T okay, so we have to do this anyways to even repair the ship. How much do we need to completely repair the ship? 100, okay. So 100 factories, and then we can actually leave. How many so we're going to actually have... About 20 after this is done. So we're very close to being able to, to actually do the partially repaired ship. We are going to need to do some of this uh, development over here. Your factory goes minus 5%. What? Are we still in civilian... Okay, no, we're, we, just, we, start off, we start off in total mobilization. Close economy and service by requirement. We just, have a lot of, we just have a lot of manpower in our territory. The Chinese United Front has formed. We already have 20, so we could go rush down to fully repair the ship. Five air bases. Remove one factory. Get a rocket site. Ex add experimental rockets. And we cannot build more rocket sites after that. Hmm. We're not going to go to war right now, so I think we're just going to go for urban development first. You playing songs that actually have music to them. Um... We have transport. I mean, you have transport planes.
I think the LLAT acts as a transport plane. That's what I would imagine, at least. And, you know, just start building, like, just a little bit of everything. Might as well also deploy you in the crash site as well. Um... Armor transports to B. We'll save that. I'm, I'm sure we need probably like a lot of uh. Who the hell are you? I have no idea who the hell you are, but I guess you deploy into this front. Oh, we can create a faction. Hell yeah, we can. The uh, new Galactic Empire. I hope I spelled that right, because if I didn't, then I'm an idiot. There we go. So we got our new Galactic Empire. Nobody's allowed to join my empire, please and thank you. Please respect my privacy. Um. Okay, so we got a new division here as well. Shang-Chi is joining United Front. Like, who are you? I do not understand who... Like, it's infantry template. Like, have I been training troops with them? I don't think so. Anyway, Soviet defectors. A group of defectors from the Soviet Union toward North has turned to us, pledging their alliance to the Empire in term for shelter. Skilled personnel... Furniture supply, accepting their offers is quite lucrative. The marshal known as Mikhail Travatsky. Isn't... Oh, because they're doing a great purge. So what are you? Um, process action, mass assault research, mass plant, max plant plus 5%. You know what? I, I don't know. That might be a trick. I think it's a trick. I think it's, I think they're tricking us. I don't remember that someone who died in the Great Purge or not, but I don't think it is. I'm, I'm like 99% sure that person listed did not die in the Great Purge. So that's why I, I think it's a trick and I do not trust them. All of our forces over Iran. I, I guess I can like look at these stats. Close air support. Air attack of 5.1, ground attack of 10. Our basic fighters have a ground attack of 5, air attack of 34, agility 85. Oh, they're way more agile. Naval attack is stronger. So they're slightly worse at um, ground combat. Like the interceptors, ground attack for them is no. You're a fighter. You're the close. Wait, are you the close here support? I'm actually not too sure. Um, naval attack, air defense, air attacks one hundred. No, so I'm guessing you're actually close air support then. So I'm surprised you're actually worse than the uh, close air support the other guys have. Uh, so let's please put on a song that actually works. And I think this is going to be a good time to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my Anthem. If you enjoyed, give a thumbs up. Now enjoy, kill you some down. Want to see more subscribe? And goodbye.